Autodesk Simulation Mechanical provides design validation results for real-world conditions. Let's take a look at an example using an industrial machine made by Osgood, a leader in building innovative machinery for filling several consumable products in various containers. Here you can see a weld frame that's used to feed the container, or cup in this case, to another subassembly, which transfers it over to the machine to begin the process. Not only does this frame hold a lot of weight, it also has moving components that can lead to large displacements and sometimes excessive stress. The benefit of using Autodesk Simulation Mechanical is running quick what-if scenarios to find out which design works the best. This leads to fewer physical prototypes, which can take several days to set up and run. Linear static studies are a great place to start. Here we can find out if the structure has any large displacements or stress simply due to the weight of the subassemblies that are attached. We have full control over the legend for a better understanding of where there are areas of concern. Let's make the maximum value 10 megapascals to add some more color to the plot. Animating the plot helps to understand why there are higher concentrations of stress on particular areas of the model. And of course, we can also track the displacement of the design before making any future modifications. Let's move on to frequency. Frequency studies will help us to determine where we have the least amount of stiffness on the weld frame. In particular, we're interested in the model's tendency to vibrate in the direction of the moving components at the top of the assembly. This could cause excessive movement if the structure is excited. After taking a look at the resonant frequencies, it looks like we can make some changes to improve on the stiffness of the model. You can see that we've added a vertical steel tube and shortened the U-shaped profile that holds the cup dispenser. This will hopefully add some stiffness and improve the behavior. After running the study, we can see that we've decreased the displacement by 25%. And again, by running the animation, we can see the new behavior in the design. We can also see in the frequency study animation that the stiffness in the design has improved. Once we're satisfied with the changes, we can take it a step further and run a dynamic simulation. How does the frame behave when the subassembly on top comes to a sudden stop? Checking for these real-world conditions is critical to Osgood to ensure the design works right the first time. This lowers costs and brings a faster time to market. Here you can see the animation of the load over a fraction of a second, as opposed to the static load that we used earlier. Once the studies are finished, reports can be generated automatically and sent over as a Word document or PDF for customers and coworkers to review. They come with a cover page, study and material information, boundary conditions, as well as the results. Autodesk Simulation Mechanical makes digital prototyping easy when virtually testing your designs.